Are you ready to slay? Get ready to get into this effortless asymmetric curly bob coming up. What's up, Nova Nation? My name is Vanna Supernova, and I have another wig review for you guys today. So today we are reviewing the Deep Invisible L Part Bubble Meadow. I have the color OH279, and it's actually the color shown on the model. Well, you can't see because the glare. There she goes. So first, before we even say anything about you know the wig, I just want to say, y'all, I'm in love. I love everything about her. This is going to be a very positive review because Bubble Meadow is giving it to me, okay? Like I wasn't even having a good day today, but lo and behold, the good Lord knew I needed Bubble Meadow in my life and you might too, okay? Look at her. Like I'm not even trying, y'all. And y'all, I probably think, y'all probably think I'm just being like so dramatic and maybe I am, I don't know at this point because she got me acting out my body. I may be dramatic right now, who knows? I don't even know who I am right now. I have no clue. Bubble Meadow has turned me into a new woman. Ooh. Okay, so let's get into this wig. So jumping right into Miss Bubble Meadow, I received her the other day and I just had to bring this good find to you guys. Now she is from Model Model. I have her in the OH279 color, which is the color that is on the model. Now Miss Bubble Meadow is heat safe up to 400 degrees. I wouldn't advise, you know, straightening her, but if you have experience in doing so, you already know we do not heat our synthetic wigs at the highest temperature but we'll get into that in the care card inside so at the bottom it has all the different colors it comes in these are all the available colors i preferred i chose the oh279 because i wanted a multi-season wig i didn't want just something for spring summer or fall even though she does favor a spring slash summer look I wanted something that I can stretch to be any season. So when I open up the package, you guys, oh my goodness, please look at the dimension of this wig. All the browns, it's like multi, like it's, it's multi-dimensional colors and I can't get enough of it. The fact that it's curly, it makes the colors pop even more. So when you remove the package, you do get your care card, which is the bigger card that I was trying to show you. The small card just shows you the style of the wig you picked and the color, but you guys, look at this color. As you can see, the back kitchen portion has just nothing but the blonde, but the remainder of it has the dark roots and the blonde hair. Now this card, as I stated, if you wanted to reorder, you could always do so by you know, keeping this card so you could always remember exactly what you have. I sometimes keep them just for my favorite wigs, just so I don't forget, cause child, I will forget unless I make a video about it. And then this card right here is the one I was telling you that is the care card. And the care card is actually on the back hand side, which I briefly showed earlier. So back to Miss Bubble Meadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cards and then I'm gonna show you um, the wig itself. As far as you know, ripping this off or cutting it, I prefer to just untie it in the same way in which it was tied. It's just, I don't know. It gives me peace of mind to know that I'm not ripping, tearing anything. Okay, so look at the cap construction. It's like standard cap construction. I never wear my wigs as is. I always wear a stocking cap and my wig grip. So this portion doesn't matter to me other than the fact that I wanna make sure that there's no gapping. I don't want nobody to see my track. So when I do that, that's what I'm looking for. There's two combs in the front and they're actually on the left-hand side where the parting is. And then there's one comb in the back. And there you get a better glimpse of the kitchen where you have all that blonde now as you can see this is multicolored brown and then the dark roots I just briefly unknowingly just showed you guys like the color blend it's so beautiful now this is the edge portion and the parting space now this parting space is deep so when they said deep L they really meant deep L. I want to say that's like five six inches back like it's so beautiful now the lace it's I don't know a normal color it's a normal a standard lace but to me it feels kind of uh, rough and I don't know 
It feels rough in my hand, but when I put it on, it's pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this lace. And the scissors I chose really were dull. If you're gonna cut your lace yourself, make sure you use proper shears. I couldn't find my shears. I don't know who took them, but I always start at the tip and work my way all the way around. So when I started cutting, I realized like, hey, these scissors suck. And on top of that, I can't see. So I just took the foam portion that the wig came with and I placed it in between so that I could see the knots better and I don't end up cutting my edges because I love to keep the edges for some reason. I don't know. It's just something I do. So now that we're getting this cut all set and done now i can work on getting this wig on so i'm gonna go ahead and show you my stocking cap and my wig grip these are um, the only things i keep on underneath and when i plop this on i didn't even add powder or anything child i realized how realistic these roots was looking and i was like oh baby now you're gonna see me look a little confused because i was like dang i didn't realize it was the left side part which it is and it has like a little swoop bang in the front so i love when my swoop bang is like a deep swoop bang so i pushed it even further to the left shout out to my bae who just walked in hey bae so this is the finished style i absolutely love bubble meadow she is a five star wig for me so much dimension perfect asymmetric bob for any season if you have any questions on this bow metal or have any requests please leave them in the comment section below you already know supernova got you and if you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up shout out to my new subbies if you loved it here don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a thing bye guys